What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button. And if it would even start yet, y'all put Villa Swans in it. I appreciate you anyway. I'm still trying to think of how I'm going to title this video, man. Um, single mom upset. I'm sorry. Shout out to tonight's conversation, y'all. Shout out to tonight's conversation. Y'all make sure y'all go to your uh, app store, Play Store, whatever y'all call it. Download their app. You'll be able to pay uh, a monthly, pretty cheap, monthly subscription and have um, basically unlimited access to all of their videos, man. Shout out to them. I'll make sure to tag their YouTube channel. They don't really have that many videos on there. They have like snippets of the full videos. So shout out to tonight's conversation. Anyway, um, the single mom of seven, right? Single mom of seven is at, has asked a, a fairly, I mean, fairly decent question. Um, what's the likelihood of her, you know, getting into a, a quote unquote success, another successful relationship, uh, finding true love again, all that good stuff, man. Before we, you know, before I get my opinion on it, man, let, let's get into it, y'all. I'm a mom of seven, and I'm thirty-three. <laughs> Okay. With being a mom of seven, do you think that a woman of um, multiple children is still capable of finding someone? First, let me ask you before I make the statement. Do the kids have the same father? Yes, they do. Okay, well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay. So this is a little, hold on. We're talking about seven children. Okay. This is no offense to you because there's, there's, it's absolutely possible for you to find a quality man. What makes it a tad bit difficult is that you have to find a man who has the financial footing to take care of you and several children. And then you also have to be able to find a man who is going to be willing to come in and create structure in that household. Seven children on one person is a lot to create structure in. So there's a lot that this man is gonna to have to come in and do. On top of that, creating a secure space for you when you have to be a mother and you have to take care of most of the majority of the things that happen in a house. Are you going to have the ability to be able to love this man in a way that he needs to be loved in a way that registers as love to him when you have to love seven other individuals? You're so uh, excellent point, Mel. Excellent. I think her name is Kitty. Shout out to her. Excellent, excellent, excellent point. Um, let me say this. Do y'all know, because she, she talked about, she not really talked about, but she touched on finances. Do y'all know how much uh, to be able to live comfortable, right? Quote, unquote, comfortable. In a family of four, mom, dad, you know, two kids, sister, brother, 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 sister, sister, whatever it is, right? Mom, dad, and two kids, family of four. To be able to live comfortable, do you know how, depending on where you live, do you know how much money you're going to have to make for a family of four? Minimal. At least, at least, I would say high 80, high 90, if not minimum $100,000 per year. And that's for a family of four. And that's if the mom, let's just say the mom making 40,000, which is the average, like the average woman makes anywhere from like 30 to 40,000. Uh, 40,000, the dad's making 60,000. That's a little slightly above average. I think the average woman is like 45, 55, something like that, right? Uh, so slightly above average, combined together for a quick 100,000. He makes 60, she makes 40, right? That's for a family of four. How much money do you think a man would need to have to be able to take care of, first of all, himself? his girl, and then seven other individuals. That's a house of nine. When you break it down like that, I'm telling y'all right now, you're talking about at least mid six figures as far as, uh, you know, as far as uh, almost close to seven figures. Three, $400,000 per year. I know she got to be on government assistance. Because then, I mean, or maybe she got it like that. I don't know. Maybe she just got it like that. The baby, the father of her kids have to be extremely active in his, in their life. Because I just don't see that happening. God forbid, fellas, pay attention. God forbid, if anything was to happen to this woman, God forbid, car accident, get sick, slipped and, 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 and broke her back or some craziness like that. Um, who is she going to look to? She's going to look to you, her man. So scratch all that stupid ass, oh, I'm strong and independent, I don't need no man, my kid's gonna be straight, all that dumb ass stuff that women always love to say. They say all of that up until something happens. 
the first person she's going to look at is the man she opened her goddamn legs to. And the minute that you cannot, assuming y'all smashing, <laughs> uh, the minute that you cannot do that, I guarantee you, you're going to see a whole new her, a whole new woman. And that's a fact. Let's keep going. You're going to need a man who can love those children as his own. Yeah. That is a huge responsibility to put on a person who does not have those children. Those are not his kids. But I, if I were you, no disrespect, I'll try to work it out with the with the father. No, no, hear me out. Say hold on, hold on. Y'all saw how she just shook her head thumbs some oh no. What do you mean, oh no? What do you mean, oh no? You sat there and had seven kids by him and you go and you can't go back to him. This is the logic, the logic of today's modern woman. So he's good enough to have, first of all, if he's that bad, why didn't you stop at one? Why didn't you stop at two? Why didn't you stop at three? Why didn't you stop at four? Why didn't you stop at five? Why didn't you stop at six? You had seven kids with this man and you're 33 years old. The next video, man, listen, because I'm I'm just I'm just like, wow. Uh the next video, man, I, I I'm thinking about whether if, if I should break it down into two parts. I'm I'm thinking I'm, I should. Uh I, I'm I'm really thinking I'm sure because I have I have something else to say in uh, number one. And number two, I really want to start this video over from the beginning and play it out in its entirety. But before I get into that, let, let me again shout out to tonight's conversation. Shout out to them. Um before I before I get into that, man, I you know, this 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 thing is scary. And when you're having these types of conversations with whatever woman you're talking to, right, they'll get mad, they'll get upset, they'll get defensive. I don't know why. It's the damn truth. This woman, um, the, the woman that was speaking on the host, the woman named Kit Kitty, she said nothing wrong. A man has to come in, take care of you, because y'all fellas, y'all know how women do. Oh, you got to help me with my key. You got to help me with my bills. You got to help my car, no, my gas, my food, my this, my that. You got to sit there and take her out on at least, let's just say, um, three months worth of dates before she finally, quote unquote, opens up to you. I guarantee you on one, if not more of those dates, she's going to say, hey, my seven kids has not eat, have, haven't even eaten yet. That's a lot of mouths to feed. Seven? You must be out your mind if you are going to look me in my eye and tell me, Dev, me making $100,000 is going to be enough to feed a family, uh, to feed seven kids, not just a family of nine, but to feed seven kids. You are out of your mind. Delusional as hell. True definition of living in poverty. Seven kids? She said kids, so I'm assuming they're all under 18. Which means what? Seven pairs of shoes, seven pairs of uniforms, Seven book bags to buy, seven damn items worth of things to fill in that goddamn book bag, seven doctor's visits, seven uh dentist appointments. What? Let's not even talk about the kids talking, you know, involved in sports or ballet or soccer or whatever the case may be. How do you have time to date, ma'am, as a woman? After doing everything you need to be doing after them take care of seven kids. Seven cups, seven dishes in a goddamn sink, seven forks and spoons to clean out of. Her fridge has to stay on empty. I need to do my research and figure out who this woman is because I'm thinking to myself, how the hell did that? seven kids? Let me let me play this whole thing out in its entirety, y'all. Uh, this is going this is going to be a two parter. My second video is going to be about um, Kitty response. Let, let's let's get into it, y'all. Let, let me watch this whole thing out and, and, and then we're gonna get up out of it. I'm a mom of seven, and I'm 33. Okay. With being a mom of seven, do you think that a woman of um, multiple children... It's, it, the man is hilarious, bro. The man looked like, bro, what the hell? You, uh, a mom of seven? How, how did you get time to come here? Who's babysitting your kids? Where are the kids at? It's still capable of finding someone. First, let me ask you before I make the statement. Do the kids have the same father? Yes, they do. Okay, well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay. We're talking about seven children. She over here doing a twirl like, like, like she did something. Like, bro, what? That's not nothing to be clapping over. That's something to be clapping over is for you to have seven kids with one man and you staying with him. <laughs> this is Kitty, y'all. Uh, the second video is going to be her response. But let, my bad. I need to stop it. Let's go. Okay. 
this is no offense to you because there's, there's, it's absolutely possible for you to find a quality man. What makes it a tad bit difficult is that you have to find a man who has the financial footing to take care of you and several children. And then you also have to be able to find a man who is going to be willing to come in and create structure in that household. Seven children on one person is a lot to create structure in. So there's a lot that this man is gonna have to come in and do. On top of that, creating a secure space for you when you have to be a mother and you have to take care of most of the majority of the things that happen in a house. Are you going to have the ability to be able to love this man in a way that he needs to be loved in a way that registers as love to him when you have to love seven other individuals? You're going to need a man who can love those children as his own. Yep. That is a huge responsibility to put on a person who does not have those children. Those are not his kids. But I, if I were you, no disrespect, I'll try to work it out with the, with the father. No, no, hear me out. say send hold it back. Hold Kitty, very, very sound advice. I didn't hear anything incorrect come out of her mouth. Um, in closing to what she said, she killed it. If I were you, I would have got, I would get back with a baby because she knows what's up. She's living in reality. What's the likelihood of a man that's actually able to afford seven kids, y'all? What's the likelihood of a man that's making, let's just say, um, again, minimum wage, let's stick to that. I'm sorry, the minimum wage, the average income. Um, you know, 45, 55,000. Let's just say the average man that makes that and more, the top 50%. So let's just say $60,000 and up minimal. What is the likelihood of an of, of the average man that's making 60K and up? What is the likelihood of him actually taking her serious? Taking her serious. And she's a fairly attractive woman. Honestly, I, if I'm being brutally honest, if any, if I was any man that was uh, quote unquote interested, right, and talking to her, and I knew ahead of time that she had seven kids, I'm getting at nothing. I'm keeping them more. I'm, I'm just being honest. I'm being honest. Seven kids. Oh yeah, it must be fire down there. I need to see what this. I need to see what this hitting for. I need to see what this is hitting for. No disrespect, but it's facts. Sorry. Um, I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't hit that subscribe button, man. Also, too, hit that bell so much. Same time we upload, notification will pop up and alert you. Also, too, make sure you hit that like, make sure you hit that share. I look forward to reading all your comments, if any. So, until next time, please, man, y'all be safe for a